So we're gonna put our torch together. So what you're gonna need is some tin foil. If you have two toilet paper rolls or one paper towel roll, you're gonna need something that's yellow, orange, and red. Okay, here I just basically painted a cereal box that I had. Um, and you can use colored pencils on this. You can use markers, whatever you want. This was a scrap of paper that I had that was kind of dirty from something else. And then I just put some very watered down paint over it to make the red. Okay, if you have something like this, you can use Add a little detail. If you have something like feathers, you can use bags. If you have tissue paper, you can use tissue paper. You're gonna also need some sort of tape, liquid glue, tin foil, scissors, and some sort of paper, construction paper like black, silver, gray, brown. I used orange and I just painted it gold. You can do that as well. Okay, so the first step to making our torch is going to take your two paper towel rolls or toilet paper and combine it to make a paper towel roll. And how I'm going to do that is using my scissors, my tape, and my glue. So using the one half, I'm going to make little slips around the lip of my toilet paper roll so that I can fan it out a little bit. So they're little spaced out like that. And this allows me to bend it. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and glue it into it so that it sticks together. So once you've made your slits, kind of bend them out a little bit, just like that. Rip a few pieces of tape ahead of time because you're gonna have to hold it and you're only gonna have one hand. So I'm going to take my tape and just put it over here on the side. And I'm just ripping a bunch of pieces. You can use clear tape for this, duct tape, whatever you have. So we're going to cover it up. Okay, so now that I have that, these open lip parts of the toilet paper roll. I'm gonna put glue on that. Make sure my glue bottle doesn't have any skin, which it does. Okay, now I'm gonna put glue on all the inside lips of this. So those areas that we just cut and fanned out, I'm gonna put glue in here. Then I'm gonna take my other tube and place it inside and then put those fanned out pieces around it and tape to secure it in place. And it doesn't matter that you see the tape because the next step is we're gonna take some of that tin foil. So, now I have my long tube for my torch handle. Okay. What we're gonna do is cover this up. Now, if you have duct tape at home, like silver duct tape, you can wrap duct tape around this instead of the tin foil if you have no tin foil. If you do, great. If you don't, use silver duct tape, paint it silver, just cover the handle somehow. You can use construction paper and glue construction paper that's silver or black over this, but cover your tube up. So what I'm gonna do for mine is I'm gonna go a little crazy with the glue and pretend like basically my tube is like a cookie. I'm just gonna dribble some glue over my paper towel roll. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, see, I kind of moved it to the corner so that my paper towel roll is sitting nicely. Let me move that one. 
So I moved it so it's end of my paper towel is hitting the end of my foil. And then I'm gonna roll it like a burrito. Roll that like a burrito. Okay, then at the end here, you can kind of see the hole. What I'm gonna do is I'm taking my tin foil and I'm tucking it in my hole. Okay, same thing over here. You see that area, I'm tucking it inside. And then I'm pinching it to hold it in place. If you have a little piece that doesn't want to stick nicely, just use a little bit of your glue. A little dot or two. And then roll it. If you have clear tape, you could do that too. I don't have any clear tape, so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. So there we have the handle of our torch. Now what we're going to do is make the cup in which holds the fire, holds the flame. So that's the handle and that's where your construction paper comes in. Now this is colors that would be really good for this, gold, brown, black, gray, anything that's kind of your neutral color. You're gonna take your construction paper and you really want construction paper or maybe like a cereal box for this, something that's a little thicker. And we're gonna make a circle. I'm gonna use the lid of my Cool Whip. You can use a bowl to trace your circle. You could use, if you have like a small salad plate or something like that. But you're gonna make a circle and you want it about the size of a bowl. So that's why we don't want it like a dinner plate. We don't want it that big, but like a, a salad bowl or a top of Cool Whip or a top of a hummus container, something around that size. Basically something that you can kind of, it's close to the size of your hand. I traced my circle and now I'm gonna cut it out. I'm going a little fast, you wanna take your time. Okay, but I'm going fast just so you can see it. Once you have the circle cut out, that's the part you need. Put this somewhere, you can always use it later. Now that I have my circle, this is about halfway in the middle, right? That's about halfway. So I'm gonna make one cut so it opens up like this, okay? That one cut goes to the middle. Do not cut it all the way. Okay, what we're gonna do with this is basically make a teepee like shape or like a party cone. So again, I'm gonna be kneading my tape and my glue. Okay, what? how you're gonna make this work is you take it and you slide it. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding my ends over each other. I'm taking it and I'm sliding my ends over. And the more I slide, the more of a cone I will get. Okay, so again, I'm taking my pieces, I'm sliding, I have one side under here, one side up, and I'm sliding it over. Okay, then I put a little bit of glue on my outside lip here, just like this, and I'm gonna push it down, and that's gonna hold it. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on the inside. And if you have clear tape, you can put it on the outside. I don't. I am gonna put a little piece of tape until my glue dries, okay? So this is the shape you want. You want a cone because what we're gonna do with that cone is we are going to put it into our porch here. So actually, if I move this down, you're not even gonna be able to see it. So let me move my tape. Okay, so we're gonna put this together and glue this here into our torch. Okay, so that's gonna be how we're gonna make the torch. And this is like the cup that the flames are gonna sit in. Okay, so now 
that we have that. I'm gonna put this just over here to sit. And I am going to start my flames for my fire. So I'm going to need my red paper and then my cereal box. Okay, so now that you have your paper in front of you, you're gonna make flames. And they're kind of like zigzags. And they're peaked at the top. And they can be all different sizes, some bigger than others. And then the important part is that you want it to come down because this is gonna sit in that diamond shaped cup we just made. I'm gonna do this a few more times. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this. And again, if you don't have papers like this, you're using colored like chip bags. If you have something like a Cheeto bag that you can do, or you have sun chips that are like yellow and orange, you can use the bag from that. You can use uh, like um, colored wrapping paper. If you have colored wrapping paper that's red, orange, or yellow. Basically, we just want the colors and we want it to be able to fit in our cup. Okay, so there's my flame. Kind of looks like a spiky hand. And I'm cutting my other flame. So here's my two red ones. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the glue here at the very bottom. Again, not using a ton of glue. And then I'm gonna sit it in my cup like that. And to hold it in place, I'm gonna use some tape. I'm gonna do that same thing with this one. I'm going to put some glue at the bottom, put it right on the edge. I'm going to take my tape and I tape the inside. It does not matter what the inside looks like because eventually we're going to fill it up. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that same process with your yellow paper. Okay, this time I'm not going to draw it out just simply as so you can kind of see. You can do this organically like I'm doing, or you can draw it out beforehand. So there is some flame, and I can actually use the opposite side. Like that. You can tell I painted it because I'm getting paint on my fingers. If you do decide to paint your paper or your cardboard, wait until it is dry. Do not try cutting it while it's wet. Okay, so here are some of my pieces. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna put some glue along all the bottoms of my flames. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my tape pieces. I have to make some more. Put some of my tape. I'm gonna take my flames, put them in the cup again and tape them in here. Tape my next flame, do the same process. Putting in my cup, taping it down. Doing it again.
until this is full. So you're going to keep doing that until it's completely full. Get my last one in here. And then there's my flames going in my cup. Now I'm ready to glue the triangle into my torch. And then there is your 3D torch. And you can stuff it with crumpled up paper and glue it down so you're not seeing the inside. So what I would do is take any of that extra paper, crumple it, and then put it in the center. And that's how you're going to make your torch. So the very last thing put some glue around the lip. If you have hot glue, that would probably work the best, but make sure you use an adult's supervision. Otherwise, liquid glue works and a little bit of tape. And then there is your torch all ready.